Hi! Welcome to your first of many Doodly walkthrough video tutorials. This is the video to watch if you know nothing about Doodly. The creation of this video including the planning stage, screen recording, writing the script, recording the script, editing the audio of the recording, syncing the audio to the screen recording, and a lot more took quite a few months. So what you'll see in this video may be a little different than the Doodly software you're currently using, but it will definitely teach you all about using the software from beginning to end. Doodly does not natively support the effect you're viewing right now. This is an advanced technique created using Doodly, green screen techniques, and Adobe Premiere. Let's begin with Doodly 101, your Doodly beginner walkthrough. This video tutorial was created with version 2.5.6, but the walkthrough will help you learn any Doodly version. It is important to note that we created and released all related chapters in separate videos. Some of the videos listed here are not created yet, so you may not see all the chapters listed on this page in the video you're watching. You may only see the dedicated Doodly chapters 1 through 9 if you're watching the segregated version. Chapter 10 for Takia is currently a separate video on our channel. We're currently planning out chapters 11 and 12 and have added three additional chapters not listed on this page. Once we've recorded and edited those videos, we will combine all the chapters in one additional video in addition to the separate ones. Hi, I'm Wayne, the creator of this free video content. Nice to meet you. In just a bit, I'm going to show you content that's designed to show you 1 minute and 30 seconds of different video design techniques, try to make you laugh, all the while telling you how you can support this channel free of charge. If you're someone that feels the thousands of hours I've spent creating free content for you is not worth the 1 minute and 30 seconds of your time, simply use the chapters feature I've taken the time to create in this video and skip over it. Just move your mouse over the video timeline and click on the next chapter. For those of you that do appreciate the time I've taken, here it is, and thanks for watching. This free video tutorial took billions of light years to create. YouTube judges a channel by subscribers, likes, shares, and video hours watched. We only ask for all our hard work. Please use those buttons and let this video run until the end. Thank you. Easily support this channel free of charge. Here are some methods. Click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. This video is monetized. Let the video run all the way to the end. The ad revenue, as little as it is, helps support this channel. Join our Facebook group. You'll find a link in the description. You'll receive group status with me and other experienced doodlers and video designers ready to help. Share these videos with other people you know, and even people you don't, whether it's in the official Doodly Facebook group or somewhere else. The more people that watch and comment, the more videos I'll create. Join Production Crate through the link in our description. They have a free account and some of the best video designing effects I've found on the internet, along with tutorials, so you know how to use them and can create effects like what you'll see throughout this video series. YouTubers! Reference back to our video in your video or video description. We would be appreciative of a link back to our channel or a plug in your video showing us our hard work paid off. Let us know about it so we can return the kindness. Contact us if you want to get a little more creative and learn how to pass traffic amongst channels. Chapter 1. Opening Doodly Immediately upon opening Doodly, we notice a lot of items. In this chapter, we're going to review menu items, membership and login information, recent videos, the projects tab, the templates tab, and Doodly help. This is chapter one of the Doodly beginner walkthrough series. Opening Doodly. The initial interface is the first screen you see when you open Doodly. Let's look at the menu items. There isn't much to this menu, so you probably won't use it a lot, but let's quickly review it. 
Under Doodly, we have the quit option. This will exit out of Doodly. Under Edit, we have Undo and Redo. Let's talk about those for a bit. Undo and Redo, you'll find, don't always work as expected in Doodly, especially in the pan and zoom where they're non-existent. When you choose Undo and Redo, Doodly doesn't always undo or redo the expected item, so you may end up with an undesired result when using the Undo and Redo options. In addition, Undo and Redo are on a scene-based option, which means that you can only undo what's in that scene. If you switch to another scene, it's going to work on just that scene by itself. So you'll see that when you start making changes and you go, why didn't this undo or redo happen? Well, it may be because you're in a different scene. Cut, copy, and paste, and select all are next. These all appear to work as expected. Under view is a full screen toggle. This is almost useless since the only thing it does is make the top bar disappear. Then that only provides a very tiny bit of space for the asset choices and a tiny bit of space for the layer section, which can be useful. So this setting may not see a lot of action. Under window, you have close or minimize. Close does not close out of the project as you would expect, but instead exits out of the program just like Doodly does with Quit. The most useful options are under the menu items in the help section. Customer support brings you directly to the customer service ticketing system. Community discussions brings you to the Facebook group. Request center brings you to the Doodly features request where you can vote on integrations. Some of these requests have been there for two years, so don't expect to get an idea and have it picked up and considered immediately. Doodly developers are well known for their lack of attention to detail when programming a request, so don't expect it to work like you imagine if your request does get chosen. Doodly support is good about responding to requests, although you may get a nonsensical response from them. Although most of the time they are very fast to respond and really helpful with basic questions. Video tutorials bring you directly to the Doodly tutorials. They are good to watch and that's how I learned Doodly, but let's make things a bit easier for you with this Doodly walkthrough video. If you watch this video and the rest of the tutorials provided on this channel, you'll have an amazing start with Doodly and save yourself a lot of learning headaches and frustrations. Moving on to membership and login information. Directly below the menu items and off to the right, you can see your current membership level and your name. If you click on the name, you'll see two options, user details and logout. Clicking user details will bring up your name and email, allow you to change your password and show you the membership level as well as your doodly add-ons that you've purchased. You can get back to the main screen by clicking the my videos link. Recent videos. This is where you create a new video and can access your last seven videos. It is important to note that simply open a video and not making any changes does not place a video in the recent video section. A successful save is necessary to see the video placed in the most recent list. Tabs. There are two tabs in this version. The Projects tab allows you to create new folders, move existing folders, and allows for excellent organization of your doodles. In the left column, the organizational folders can be created, moved, and selected while the right column displays what doodles are in the selected folders along with extra information about the doodle including creation date, note the time is displayed in military time, modified date, this is great for knowing the date for the last time the doodle was saved. Length. This is very useful because doodly gets extremely laggy the more scenes that are added and the longer the length of the video becomes and has bugs that will appear with the audio signature not appearing in a portion of the doodle or scenes getting moved around randomly. If you use the duplicate scene function, sometimes it'll triplicate and quadruplicate scenes randomly. 
Doodly Support has reported that the bug of not showing the audio timeline if your Doodly imported audio file is over 10 minutes has been corrected. Scenes. Displays the number of scenes in the video. The more scenes in the video, the longer it takes the Doodle to open for editing. The action column consists of open, rename, duplicate, or make a second copy of the Doodle, or delete, of which are all self-explanatory. The new folder link allows us to keep our Doodles organized by creating new folders. We can drag and drop our Doodles into these folders. The Templates tab is next. Doodly comes with pre-made template videos that can be used for clients or other purposes. The left column allows for filtering of the templates. Choose different categories to only view templates that belong to those categories. The right column displays the templates and allows for the preview of the templates powered by Voomly, another Brixen product. Voomly is outside the scope of this training video, so we will not discuss Voomly in the first nine chapters. Templates can be sorted by free templates or purchases made from the marketplace. Click the marketplace if you want to see more templates that can be purchased. Additionally, there is a search option to filter through the different templates. Below the tab section is a banner that serves a dual purpose. A direct link to the Doodly Marketplace and another link to the Doodly Knowledge Base where you can create a new support ticket. You will need to create a separate login account for support tickets. If you scroll down a bit further, you'll see the Doodly Toolbox. This also serves as a dual purpose. It reminds you of what add-ons you've purchased and is an excellent marketing tool by Brixen for a constant reminder about what software you haven't purchased. You are not required to purchase any of the software or the masterclass, and it will not make you a super user to purchase it, but it may save you a learning curve if you do. Or you can watch my video tutorials for free. Next up, creating a video. Hey, that's it for this video, but not for the rest of the information on this channel. Here are some more videos to help you keep learning. Click that subscribe button and tap that notification bell for more doodly tips and tricks. Let's make a deal. You keep watching the videos and I'll keep creating the content.